About 18 months ago, hedge fund billionaire John Paulson laid out his ongoing thesis for why he sees the potential to lever up bullish gold derivative bets with the possibility of paying off 25 to 50 fold at some point in this decade, the 2020s. Here's a brief clip from the video we made then entitled John Paulson 25 to 50 X gold bet potential payout, which we will link, of course, in the show notes and comments below. I think you put on a trade where you bought a lot of gold or gold futures and you were a, what was called by some a gold bug. You're a big believer in gold. Gold's now about $1,700 an ounce or so. Are you believing that gold is now a good investment at this price? Yeah, we do. And, and thank you for bringing that up. Um, we, you know, we do believe that gold uh, does very well in times of inflation. Um, we, we saw what happened the last time gold went sort of parabolic was in the 70s when we had uh, two years of double digit inflation. And the reason why gold goes parabolic is that basically is a very limited amount of investable gold. I think it's on the order of uh, several trillion. Well, the total amount of financial assets is closer to 200 trillion and fixed income somewhere above 120 uh, trillion. So what happens is if you own long-term treasury bonds that are yielding 2% and interest rates move up to 5%, those bonds fall materially in value. Uh, likewise, if you have cash sitting in a bank that you're earning 0% on and inflation's 4%, you're gradually eroding the value of your money. So as inflation picks up, people try and get out of fixed income, they try and get out of cash, and the logical place to go is gold, uh, especially if it starts to rise in, in inflationary times. But because the amount of money trying to move out of cash and fixed income dwarfs the amount of investable gold, that the supply and demand imbalance causes gold to rise. And the more it rises, it sort of feeds on itself. It has the potential to go uh, what I call parabolic. We're going to get back to what hedge fund billionaire John Paulson said about gold published in an interview this week. But first, the U.S. government's underreported consumer price inflation data came in higher than expected at 6.4% or at a rate of fiat US dollar devaluation that will see the dollar have in purchasing power in just over 11 years. More on that in a minute. Here you can see consensus guesses regarding this week's data inflation mostly missed to the downside. A large contributor to the persistent rise in the CPI at the moment has been the lagging shelter index data, which while mostly being a guess at what homeowners think they can rent their homes for, it's now at its largest increase in over 33 years. Regarding John Paulson's mentioning about how fixed income was about to be slaughtered, the FDIC's latest quarterly banking profile has data published from Q3 of last year, 2022. Not only is the FDIC's quote problem bank list growing at a rapid rate, it's for real reasons, like losing nearly 1.5 trillion in unrealized losses on investment securities through three fourths of last year dwarfing unrealized losses taken by banks during the 2008 global financial crisis era. Moving on to what billionaire John Paulson stated in an interview published this week about owning gold bullion over fiat US dollars with a three, five and 10 year outlook and time span. With the geopolitical uncertainties, you know, if you keep your money in fiat currencies, you face the risk due to uh, geopolitical events that your reserves can be seized, is what the central banks did with Russia. So you probably have China thinking, you know, we have so much of our reserves of dollars. If we get into a geopolitical spat with the Western world over Taiwan or something else, is there a possibility they'll freeze our reserves or national savings like they did with Russia? They'd rather invest in uh, gold, right? Well, if you own physical gold uh, and you have possession, you don't face that risk. Plus, if the gold depreciates more rather than depreciates, you not only have safety in security reserve, but you also have the potential for appreciation. So I think those are the trends that are going to increase the demand for gold. And I think that, you know, we're at the beginning of that stage and depending on inflation of geo political tensions will determine, you know, the rate at which gold increases over the... When you talk about medium long term for the dollar decline, you talk about one year, 10 years, 
a lot. It's always easier to predict over the long term because so many short term factors affect the short term. You know, I would say this year the uh, gold will depreciate versus the dollar, and also over a three, five, and ten year basis. Hello, on behalf of SDBullion.com, this is James Anderson with your weekly bullion market update. Before we go any further, smash the like button so we can share this content with other like minded sound money stackers. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for more complimentary weekly updates to come. And don't forget to enter our free bullion giveaway. SD Bullion Silver Eagle Monster Box Sweepstakes is back. And with it, another opportunity to win 500 Silver Eagle coins just like this guy. Yeah, this is Kevin. Hi, Kevin. This is Dr. Tyler Wall, CEO of SD Bullion. I'm calling to you to let you know that you won the SD Bullion giveaway of a Monster Box of 2022 Silver Eagle. Unbelievable. That is awesome. <laughs> I, Sorry, I'd, I'd be a lot more excited if I'm at work, so I can't really scream and holler too much. <laughs> so click the link below, because the next big winner could be you. Slightly down weeks in trading for both precious monetary metals. The spot silver price is likely to close this week at around $21.75 an ounce bid, while the spot gold price makes a push to close at $18.50 per troy ounce ask price. The spot gold silver ratio traded flat for the week, lightly again to close at 84. As both gold and silver move down in price consolidations toward their respective 200 day moving averages, here's a long term view throughout the full fiat currency era of where each respective precious metal sits in relation to their important 200 day moving averages. Gold's 200 day moving average sits currently just over 1,777 per ounce. And of late, it's been an inverse trade of relative fiat US dollar strength or relative fiat US dollar weakness versus other major competing fiat currencies in terms of where gold is going. Silver's 200 day moving average is likely to end this week around 21 ounce. Generally speaking, in a secular bullion bull market, buying bullion positions when spot prices retrace back towards their 200 day moving averages is best for lower dollar cost averaging. Perhaps one of those times is now again here for long term bullion buyers. In a continued strange industry news item, the supposed U.S. commodities regulator, the CFTC, has again delayed its weekly commitment of traders report for now three weeks running. Reuters reported the following earlier this week regarding missing COT report data. The U.S. Commodity Futures Trading Commission, CFTC, will postpone again its publication of a weekly commitment of traders report due on Friday, according to the ICE Exchange in a CFTC email seen by Reuters. The CFTC, quote, has not received all the data required, the agency said in an email to an analyst. A spokesperson for the agency has not responded to a request for comment. Last week, the CFTC said the weekly commitment of traders report would be, quote, delayed until all trades can be reported, following a ransomware attack on a unit of ion markets. Euronext also postponed until further notice a weekly report on positions held in its commodity derivatives. The Commitment of Traders report details the positions of market players in several futures markets, including grains, oil, sugar, coffee, gold, silver, platinum, palladium, as well as financial derivatives such as currencies and bonds. The last publication was on January 27, 2023. Of course, if you already own a physical prudent position in gold and silver bullion, you're not likely too concerned with exactly when the next CFTC COT report will eventually come about. You likely rest soundly knowing you have harder monies which will likely outperform the fiat US dollar and other debasing fiat currencies over the next, say, three, five, and even 10 years of time. That's all for this week's SD Bullion Market Update. As always to you out there, take great care of yourselves and those you love. If you enjoyed this content, be sure to give our video a thumbs up. To keep getting bullion related news and industry insights, be sure to subscribe to our channel. Finally, hit that alert button so you know when we publish fresh content. Thank you.